We are going to get Outlaw and Destructor in free battle pass. Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you all guys will be fine. So today we have a patch note of Call of Duty Mobile official. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing is new battle pass season. So new battle pass season is the wildness is released and it will uh, like start from 9 a.m. on 5 uh, sorry 1 April. And in the premium pass we are going to get Ghost and Sarab character from the cowboy concept and weapons of western size of wildness full of retro emotion appeal so i have already showed the weapons and the characters in the previous video so if you haven't watched that video i will suggest you go and watch that video so the best thing is for free battle pass free battle pass you will get a new sniper rifle out outlaw and you are also going to get a operator skill destructor okay so which is a good thing that now free battle pass will get something okay so the next thing is battle pass level up change okay existing battle pass mission has been removed and gameplay has been changed to allow level up multiplayer battle royale rank more limited time more etc when you complete kills assists sport and complete on a map goals you will earn battle pass experience the more you play the game the more experience you get battle pass experience earned in a match can be viewed in the result after the match happened so it is like a xp which we get normal for level up so now it will be battle pass level up so let's see what we, what it will be so the next thing is event optimize optimization and change user interface optimization event pages are classified into features daily and other event pages so basically they just optimize the user interface and mission the, the number of mission has been reduced and the difficulty has been increased but the rewards can be earned are also increased so i don't know which missions are they i think it's battle pass mission so let's see or achievements i don't know so let's see multiplayer mode so we are going to get new mode capture the flag mode protect a light gold and take away enemy gold it is a plate for total two launch and the team with the most point wins still okay sorry so now what you it will like still in flag mode can be played on rust crossfire and okay it's showing the map so it will be a new game mode where we have to steal enemies gold but we have to protect our gold okay so if we steal more enemies gold then we will have more points and then we will in the match so new mode 1v1 duel so it will be two player face of 1v1 you can choose which weapon to use at the stall of the first round people who lose a round sorry player can choose which weapon they will use in the next round there are total three rounds if you win two rounds you win the match one to one duel mode can be played on the tier one kill house and cage map okay there will be three map and now we have one v one mode so which is a good thing new mode confirm kill mode okay so it is another mode so we are going to cut three modes which is a good thing so it will be like we have when we kill enemies we have to pick their dog deck as we do in classic uh, classic match to get our teammate back but f uh, in the multiplayer like in this mode we have to take enemies dog deck so that we can confirm our kill so you can just read it if you want to read Existing mode changes, change map added to prop hunt mode and points and in the score stick in ultra fire mode has been adjusted. Okay, so we are going to get a new rust map and the tavern map. So it is I think so saloon map, but the name is Tavern. Tavern, whatever. Call of Duty. This is a special secondary multiplayer map for mobile only. The tavern map can be used in 2v2 show. Okay, there will be it can only be used in 2v2 and 1v1. Okay, I think it will be a small map. That's why it will only for 2v2 and 1v1 so we are going to get a new operator skill killer so when the penetration rate is high and it is close to the enemy it will fire a bullet with instruction so we have already put a gameplay of it so you can watch it on my channel so we are going to get a new cyrogenic mode no, sorry grenade so it basically slow down the enemy movement and we can kill easy, easily enemies so optimization and improvements sparrow has been improved to trigger small explosions and to be effective in long range combat the war machine has been optimized to trigger medium okay so they just fix our operator skills so here you can see if you want to read then you can pause the video and you can read so it is just the basic thing that they have improved uavs and the hypes etc so balance adjustment gravity spike cooldown has been reduced so it is a good thing because gravity spike did not kill so many enemies at one time so shock rc can attack up to two enemies but in the beta version we see that it attacks three enemies but uh, oh now it's okay but it should be three leave it 
ICR1 aiming speed and accuracy increased and uh, there are like other improvements so let's see what we have oh, now we have better oil mode you can totally okay so it is like gold hunt mode and we have to collect gold and we can exchange it in, and we will get some weapons and etc so it is it was already in the beta version so yeah platform has been removed so it is like minus with it modding okay so air platform will be like no it is not removed Modeling of air platform has been improved. The location of air platform is no longer fixed. Okay, so now air platform will move. Okay, so it will not be on a fixed place. It will move. Okay, so it will be spawned in at a random places of the map. Attitude, tactical, zip, and here you can see read. Okay, so we have a new poltergeist guest uh, like class in battle royale. So I have already uh, mentioned in the previous video that we are going to get this class and it will like invisible us. So we have some balance adjustments. So if you want to read them, you can pause the video. I am just reading the man man points. So warfare mode, faster progressing at the beginning of the first challenge created at the start of the game. So it is good because war warfare mode is very slow at the start of the map. Okay, so if you drop after the destruction and there is so many things. So weapon S36 and GKS has been added to better. Okay, so we did not see mano war. So we did not get man of war, okay it's a bad thing. So we are going to get legendary attachments like magazine, so shotgun silencer etc. Increase damage developed by machines to player equipped with armor. Okay, so we have more war machine damage, so thank god. Increase damage of all engines of the M4 M16 sorry. So like they increase and uh, they just buff or uh, reduce some damage or other things of MSMC and like no they increase the damage of MSMCs so we just get a buff and bug fixes so we have some bug fix new button crawl so we have a prone button or crawl button anything you want to say you can select whether to display okay you can new settings single shotgun firing you can fire a single shotgun by releasing the button and you can set it okay so it is just a normal thing new sharing button optimization and improvements so if you, you and there is no more not nothing special but we are going to get some new maps new weapons so many things so season 6 is going to be very interesting so let's see what uh, so guys if you like this video then like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon i will meet you in the next video bye bye